So good evening, everyone. Uh, once again, Saurabh here, and uh, today we're going to uh, go ahead with our further session. Uh, just to brief you that uh, a few of you have been asking about the PowerPoint presentations, uh, which I generally play. So I'll, I'll send a few PowerPoint presentations. Now, uh, there are a few presentations which I am using it from my personal book. Now, this is my own written book, but I need to have a little a permission from my publisher before I share the content because uh, the content which I generally use, uh, it's, a, it's, all, it's from my book only, but then it's a published content. So, uh, so give me a little while, I'll share that also. Uh, and meanwhile, in case somebody wants to check out uh, my book, which is available online, uh, it's, it's available um, also on New York stores also, you can just uh, get that, okay? So don't worry, uh, I'll try to send uh, some content. So just a short on that. Uh, the name of the book is Business Intelligence and Artificial Intelligence. You can find that on my site, like saravakharia.in. Over there in the book section, publication section, uh, you will see the entire list. So the book is Business Intelligence, which you can, uh, which I'm using currently to explain you the topics. So everything's from there. So you can get that book. Uh, well, currently lockdown is there, so maybe it will be difficult for you to get. But definitely after that, uh, it will be quick and easier for you to get the book. All right. So uh, today we are going to uh, go further uh, on understanding decision support system. But to uh, before I jump directly to DSS, uh, I want to give you a small little introduction on business intelligence so that uh, understanding DSS uh, becomes more uh, interesting uh, because DSS is a part of, uh, uh, you know, business intelligence. Okay. So uh, before I start, let me do a small check. So is my voice uh, audible to everyone loud and clear? All right, uh, is, can you see my screen? Yes, no, uh, my screen I've shared. Uh, yes, screen is also visible, so thank you. All right, so I think we'll go further ahead. Uh, so try to understand business intelligence. We've already understood AI until now, and now BI. Uh, like I always tell my students, A ke baad jase B aata hai, usi tarikhe se hum AI ke baad uh, B I se kare. Yeah. Uh, there is some noise. Uh, somebody trying to talk to me. Mm, no. Okay. All right. Uh, so, what is B I? Uh, let me. Let me give you a small little brief. Understanding BI. Now, by the definition, if we go, uh, what I am also presenting here on the screen. So, BI is all about delivering the reliable, relevant information to the right people at the right time uh, to achieve a particular goal and have the decision happen faster. Uh, well, it, it's, it's a collection where uh, uh, it retrieves uh, a data and processes the data and uh, with the help of certain mathematical models and gives you a better understanding and gives you better understanding of a data so which can uh, drive uh, an extra thrust to your business. Okay, so I'm just trying to give you an informal idea. Uh, formally, the processes, technologies, and tools needed to turn the data into information and information to knowledge and knowledge into plans that derive profitable business actions. 
So BI encompasses all like the data warehouse, the business analytics, the knowledge management, and the core is about uh, decision making um, and where we will be learning about uh, decision support system will come into the picture. Okay, so moving further. Now this is a uh, definition of BI which you can always get it online whenever you can Google the definition. This is nothing. Uh, okay, so uh, it, it can be defined as a mathematical model and analysis methodology that exploits the available data to generate information and knowledge useful for the complex decision making process. With the definition, we, we uh, it makes us very clear that uh, it's going to help us in making decisions. It's going to help us in uh, you know making our business grow faster and better. So we need some external assistance. So BI is that external assistance, which is going to be uh, useful for our business. Uh, definitely, there are certain tools, there are certain mechanisms, and uh, this is totally powered by AI. Uh, you know, that's how, that's what uh, our entire program is all about. Uh, BI, which is powered by AI. Okay, so our entire program is focusing on the same. So we've seen the power of AI. Now, where it is implemented and how the output comes, so that's where the BI part comes into the picture. So it's an umbrella term that combines architecture, tools, database, uh, analytical tools, applications, methodologies, decision making, everything. Okay, so moving further. Now, BI helps us in taking, uh, you know, decisions now we we know the importance of decision okay uh, a decision should be should be effective and it should be timely you know two uh, major uh, or important parts of decision making are it should be an effective decision and it should be a timely decision sahi ki to koi definition nahi hai lekin shayad usse kuch uh, outcome acha aa jana chahiye hamara hamara jo purpose hai wo solve ho jana chahiye to hum usse bolenge ki that is an effective decision output jo jaisa mujhe desired tha to wo aaya dusra timely matlab uh, aapka decision agar thoda late hai to shayad se effect late hoga ya nahi bhi hoga to uska koi kaam nahi hai to uh it's simple you're hungry now you need food right now you cannot uh, say okay, okay i'm hungry now but after two weeks i leave well that doesn't go so the main purpose of bi or bi systems is to provide the knowledge workers with tools and methodologies that allows them to make effective and timely decisions Audience. Uh, now we, we've learned uh, a few algorithms uh, yesterday. Okay, I tried. I tried my level to give you a little idea on the uh, a certain set of algorithms, and these are mathematical models. Now, a mathematical model, what what it is, we need to understand that. So, in a nutshell, I'm trying to explain you what is a mathematical model. So, it is uh, an interpretation of the real situation or a real world. So what the real world is, we try to create our own model based on that. And definitely uh, mathematics is the support system which helps us create those models. Now having widespread applications in branches of science, engineering, technology, biology, medicine, etc. The primary objective is to enhance the effectiveness of the decision making process. So the entire primary focus of these mathematical models is to ensure that decision making is effective. Okay, uh, so we'll be discussing more on the mathematical models further. All right. Uh, now, when you're deriving a mathematical model, uh, how it works, that has been 
comprised here in a, a small little diagram which is there uh, start from finding a real world problem because when you are driving your own mathematical model uh, it, it it is not going to be something which is standard aisa nahi hai ki ek model pada hai uthaya directly implement kar diya jaise ek example do yesterday we we learned about couple of uh, algorithms and um, it's not that you will directly just implement them as it is there is always a lot of tweak uh, those algorithms and those models these are there they are they're giving you a direction aapko bataya jata hai ek ek standard procedure ke is tarike se karoge to outcome aa sakta hai ek tarika hai you can use multiple such ways you can you can use a conglomeration of couple of models aap ek se dusra teesra chautha sab mila sakte hain uh like for example bayes bayes model okay thomas bay has uh, developed a prediction model and uh, in this prediction model we we can predict a little bit so zaruri nahi hai ki usko as it is implement karna because bay himself said it is a naive model so you probably can use such models have your own inputs to it according to the situation and then you can make it run so that is the reason primary task before even implement a model is to understand the real world problem uh, generally hame hame ek notion hai ek bahut galat fehmi hai bahut badi galat fehmi hai ki ai aur bi hamari offices mein laga do jadoo ho jayega uh matlab i get such request uh when i deal in the real world mujhe bhi kuch aise request aati hai uh, and they say ke uh, sir ai se kar lo na ka I'll just share you one example uh, of my own client. Uh, okay, I don't want to take the name. He's a big man, uh, but it was a little foolish. Uh, the demand was like, uh, since you do AI, why can't you uh, do some AI and uh, uh, get our uh, business uh, from like 360 up? Like uh, his demand was simple. very simple demand so is like mera business jo hai kuch takriban 50 lakh tak hota hai agar aap kuch ai laga do aur mera business ko 50 lakh se his target what he kept that time was 14 crores so 3 mahine hai aapke paas 3 mahine mein 14 crores tak touch karwa do uh, well guys this is like not possible aisa nahi hota ए आई कोई जादू की छड़ी नहीं है आ, तो आपको भी ये समझना है कि ए आई और बी आई ये कोई जादू की छड़ी नहीं है ओ लगा दिया और हो गया आई गॉट वन अनदर रिक्वेस्ट आई एम सोशल मीडिया गाई सो समी सेट की आई वॉन्ट टू फ्लड माई सोशल मीडिया एंड आई एम रेडी टू पे यू वट एवर बट ऑल आई वॉन्ट इज आई वॉन्ट कन्वर्जन ऑन माई प्रोडक्ट ऑन सोशल मीडिया ही वॉन्टेड सम वन हंड्रेड इंक्वायरीज पर डे and then he mentions ke why don't we implement some ai and get it happen mm, okay again so uh, the answer is very difficult see aapko bhi aisa lagega abhi ke ai aur bi se kya hum aisa kar le hamara business badh jayega sab kuch ho jayega uh, it's not that directly possible see these are support systems isse uh, flavor hai cheeze achhi hongi so you'll you'll get some uh, you'll get some benefit but uh, it's going to be a gradual change cheeze badlengi badlav aayega of course output acha hoga but koi jadu ki chadi nahi hai so why i why am i telling you this because most of uh, people who are connected to me right now in a lecture are practicing chartered accountants are are into some kind of business it's an advice ki kal ko agar aapko koi buddhu banane aaye koi bol de ke सर हम ए आई बेस्ड जादू लगाएंगे और आपका बिजनेस रॉकेट तो थैंक यू बोल देना और कुछ मत कहना क्योंकि ट्रू फैक्ट एनी वे सो जस्ट स्मॉल लिटल पीस ऑफ एडवाइस नाउ हाउ दिस मैथमेटिकल मॉडल वर्क इट्स देयर इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू आई क्विकली जस्ट गो टू द स्टेप्स वोट टेक मच फाइनिंग रियल वर्ल्ड प्रॉब्लम फॉर्मुलेट अ मैथमेटिकल मॉडल Uh, of the problem and identifying the variables and establishing the hypothesis most important part uh, a data scientist for that matter will always create 
his own set of hypotheses. What will happen if I use this algorithm? Okay. Uh, so then after that, uh, apply the mathematical knowledge that you have to reach uh, mathematical conclusions because it's a number game. It, it works on certain, uh, a certain set of rules. So you need to have a, some mathematical knowledge to be applied and get some facts, get, get your facts clear. Compare the data obtained as the prediction with the real data. So once your model is defined, once your ideation is done, try to compare it with the real world because it might not be always true as it looks like. And uh, so that, that's the reason comparison is there. Even Thomas Bay in 1950, he said, like, you know, <laughs> the model which he developed and people which are, they're, they're using today, he said it's a naive model. So if a, such a big scientist can say, and uh, we need to understand and believe that the models, the mathematical models, the outcomes which come, they're not correct. You look at the current scenario. A lot of people, uh, using AI, uh, they gave their uh, idea about COVID-19 and they said, uh, uh, you know, the statistics are itna fail jayega, itna fail jayega. But nahi hua, waisa nahi hua. Okay, the statisticians calculated some something else. Sab ki apne apne uh, numbers the. But then it, it didn't happen. It's not happening that way. Sare statistics or sare mathematics, they're, they're not really true. So if you've been reading these days, you'll come to know what I'm talking about. Compare the data obtained as predictions with the real data. If the data uh, are different, two processes restarted. Simple, keep doing this in loop unless you find the best solution. That's what uh, happens. All right, uh, fine. Uh, there are certain set of advantages of these uh, mathematical models, and uh, uh, I think uh, I, I'll, I'll come to these later. I, I shouldn't be speaking about them now. Uh, now I think uh, I, I should be coming to another part. Uh, all right. ETL. Uh, this is another part which I should be talking about before we jump to uh, decision making. Okay. Uh, no, I hope this is clear. All right. Something. Somebody has uh, written something. Uh, yes, yeah, similar to our FM package today. FM package. Oh, I didn't get this. Uh, I'm sorry. I am naive. Oh, finance minister. Okay. Okay, sorry, sorry for me. Uh, to understand this, sometimes it becomes difficult. That's very bad. Uh, okay, and then there is some new AI tool to predict COVID nineteen without testing. Okay, there are tools. Good, but again, uh, how much you understand? Uh, uh, sorry, he is unable to connect. I think this go which connect on any problem with the session. Anyway, uh, so uh, now it's there in front of the screen. What I'm gonna talk about is ETL process. Now ETL is a deriving fuel uh, for our decision making. Uh, so that's like data extraction, transformation and loading. Okay, before the fuel is pumped to the mathematical models, the fuel need to come from somewhere and that's our data which we are going to use for decision making. Now the data passes through the three set of processes. The first one is extraction, second is transformation, and third is loading. Uh, the screen is showing advanced mathematical models. Mm, okay, thank you for bringing me up. Uh, is it correct? 
if you help. All right. All right. Uh, so, so what happens uh, in this process? Uh, the process looks very small, but uh, this process has much more uh, depth into it. The data is extracted from several sources, like these are primary and secondary sources. A lot of primary and secondary sources are feeding the data. Okay. Uh, it could be uh, direct or indirect. Uh, instead of calling it primary or secondary to make it more simpler, you will directly data mil jayenge, seedha, seedha, ya kuch indirectly mil Kahin koi alag se. Uh, extraction when data extraction is happening. Uh, data comes in different forms. You will not get it directly. You will get it in forms. Mein uh, jase, se kisi ne voice output mein de diya data, ya kisi ne lick ke de diya, ya kisi ne text document de diya, kisi ne word document de diya, kisi ne multimedia de diya. Data is data. Alag alag type pe aare. Ek example de lo, news agency hai. News agency ETL process kar rahi hai. Thik hai? Ab news agency ko, jo data mil raha hai, uh, shayad uske kisi ne ek uh, film record karke multimedia wala data de diya. Thik hai? Uske andar kuch ho raha hai. Uh, kisi ne PowerPoint presentation bhez di. किसी ने शायद टेक्स्ट में लिख दिया एसएमएस कर दिया कि ये न्यूज़ है आज की किसी ने एक वॉइस मेल छोड़ दिया कि ओके ऐसा ऐसा है अब ये अलग-अलग है तो न्यूज़ ना तो न्यूज़ एजेंसी आपको क्या जो जैसी आए वैसे ही दिखाते हैं नहीं अगर मल्टीमीडिया है तो उसको वो देखेंगे अंडरस्टैंड करेंगे उसमें से एक्सट्रैक्ट करेंगे न्यूज़ मीडिया को तो उसको समझ के उसका तर्क समझ के अंडरस्टैंड करके और फिर दे दे बी डूइंग देयर सेट ऑफ प्रोसेसेस सो दैट्स लाइक कलेक्शन कलेक्टिंग द डेटा पहला तो उन्होंने काम कर लिया कलेक्ट कर लिया अब उसके बाद क्या करेंगे ये लोग उसको एक एक पर्टिकुलर प्रोसेस में डालेंगे तो प्रोसेस में डालने के लिए व्हाट व्हाट दे नीड टू डू दे नीड टू ट्रांसफॉर्म द डेटा इनटू वन यूनिक फॉर्मेट अगर मान लो ये प्रिंट मीडिया न्यूज़ है जैसे कह लो कि वो एक न्यूज़पेपर है जो आपके घर पे आता है ठीक है और ये प्रिंट मीडिया है लिख के छपा हुआ आता है इसके अंदर तो अगर कोई मल्टीमीडिया क्लिप वायरल हुई है तो उस क्लिप को उसका अनुवाद किया जाए उसको लिखा जाएगा न्यूज़ के फॉर्म में क्योंकि उनका ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन एक ही है टेक्स्ट क्योंकि ये न्यूज़पेपर है न्यूज़पेपर आपके जो घर पे प्रिंट होके आता है प्रिंट न्यूज़पेपर के अंदर टेक्स्ट के फॉर्म में आना है तो भले वो मल्टीमीडिया है लेकिन उस क्लिप के अंदर क्या है डिस्क्राइब किया जाएगा सो दे आर ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग इट अगर वॉइस में आया तो भी ट्रांसफॉर्म करेंगे अगर लिख के भी आया है उनके पास तो एज इट इज थोड़ी ना छापेंगे उसको एक फॉर्मेट में करेंगे सो दिस इज द पार्ट ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग द डेटा टू वन सिंगल वन सिंगल फॉर्मेट वन स्टैक इज देयर देन यू लोड इट वेयर डू यू लोड इट यू कैन लोड इट टू द सॉफ्टवेयर to mathematical models do do some further process over it to a decision support system a lot many places so you you are going to load it to where it is required and then you will start the fact finding okay i, I hope this is clear small little explanation of etl Uh, text to columns in Excel can be classified as an ETL tool. Okay, yeah, you you can see. Well, uh, it's just a process, a data ki process hai. collection karke, or usko ek form mila ke, or kisi dusre uh, software me ya uh, kisi processing unit me dalne tak. Uske baad ka process abhi tak nahi bola humne. Ye khali extraction, transform, or load tak ka process. Hai. Uske baad kya hota hai? वो हम आगे देखेंगे ओके सो आई आई नाउ चेंज द समबडी इज अडिंग अनस्ट्रक्चर्ड फॉर्म टू अ स्ट्रक्चर्ड फॉर्म या यू कैन से दैट आप बोल सकते हैं ऐसा भी एक अनस्ट्रक्चर्ड फॉर्म से स्ट्रक्चर्ड फॉर्म में ले आए ठीक है आप बोल सकते हैं ओके सो आई विल बी नाउ starting another presentation um, 
okay uh, decision support system jab decision support system ki baat aati hai to hame lagta hai ki ab ye kuch jadu hoga so ab aaj aapko main bataunga ki ye jadu kya hai iski thodi haqeeqat janenge understand karenge dss hai kya uh, i don't know aapke aapke paas kya idea hai what do you think dss hai kya matlab पहले आपसे ही जान लेते हैं आपको क्या नोशन है क्या ये कोई जादू की छड़ी है या कोई क्या है आई डोंट नो यू कैन टेल मी आई लीव इट ओपन ओपन क्वेश्चन टू यू ऑल uh it that supports business decision okay it's a tool okay helps in systematic decision making anything that enhancing decision uh it systems okay you know, that's a correction it's a support uh, which is used for decisions okay it's a supporting okay tool which is used for decision helps uh, management in decision making uh, by converting complex data into the simple structured form good fair enough system that helps uh, to take decision okay good uh, inform decision based on the information it helps executive while making a decision okay uh, help to take optimum decision uh, guidance and decision okay uh, okay something more is coming up i'll just get that mm-hmm. uh it gives various options to decide a uh, system for decision making mm-hmm. it helps business by analyzing data from past and present okay now similar answers are coming all right good did you have got some idea about it now uh, all right let me let me help you understand a few things so uh let's let's understand this what is an importance of uh, decision so i have a few questions to ask you uh, which are there in front of the screen so one by one we'll go to each and every question uh, it's very important to understand these questions very important ye lagenge bade obvious hai lekin inko samajhna bahut zaruri hai to hum ek pure system ko samajh payenge okay so pehla hai what is the importance of a decision प्राइमरी क्वेश्चन तो आपके हिसाब से जो अगर कुछ दो तीन जवाब मिल जाए मुझे व्हाट इज द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ अजीज मतलब व्हाट डू यू थिंक ज्यादा नहीं दो या तीन जवाब चाहिए एंड देन आई कैन गो टू अनदर टू गेट द डिजायर्ड सोल्यूशन ओके फ्यूचर रिजल्ट्स टू चूज अ स्ट्रेटजी ओके It decides our entire process and results. Creates our future. This will lead to action. Okay, uh, helps to achieve objectives. Increase the pace. All right, great. Okay, uh, another question. Okay, uh, so now now we we've got a lot of things. Why it is important? बहुत सारे अपने अपने कारण हैं. सबके अपने अपने हिसाब से you know reasons हैं. The importance. Uh, okay. So how do we how do we define a decision which is right or wrong? Another question. Okay. How do we define? इसका कुछ जवाब है हमारे पास सही और गलत decision इसका क्या हमें कैसे पता चलता है? Uh, based on the outcome. Okay. मतलब outcome कैसा अच्छा बुरा How do we define that? Information and knowledge is key. Okay. the results are favorable okay uh, this is a uh, good answer uh, if we are uh, able to predict its outcome okay based on the correct outcome uh, based on the favorable results okay favorable is seems to be a good answer uh, if it's helping in deriving the desired results this is in that solve problem based on the experience we've seen in the past uh desired results verification with the predefined objective okay uh, this is again 
a to the point answer um, verification with the predefined object objective good good uh, if in an organization if in organization favor uh, it is a right decision uh, okay there is no definition for right and wrong huh, by the way from past results giving the desired results uh, expected outcome if you it would reach our goal uh, achieves anticipated outcome okay anticipation has its own definition mm -hmm. if the decision fulfills our need okay so we define right and wrong by our own set of rules chor chori kar raha hai ye decision uske liye acha hai aapke liye bura hai chor chori kar raha hai pocket mar pocket mar raha hai kahin station pe uske liye ye sahi decision hai usko galat nahi lag raha ye isliye wo kar raha hai एंड आपके लिए ये डिसीजन गलत है अरे यार ये ये गलत बात है ऐसा नहीं करना चाहिए सो so, उसका राइट right होना रॉन्ग होना इट्स टोटली डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द पर्सन टू पर्सन हर एक का पर्सपेक्टिव डिफरेंट है सो बेसिकली अगर वो सेट ऑफ रूल्स में बैठ रहा है तो वो राइट right है शायद हो सकता है कि uh, आपका डिसीजन हंड्रेड सही है आपके हिसाब से लेकिन उस डिसीजन से शायद बहुत लोगों का नुकसान हो रहा है आपने कोई एक एक्स डिसीजन ले लिया कि नहीं मुझे ऐसा करना है और वो डिसीजन लेकिन किसी और को भारी पड़ रहा है हो सकता है सो हाँ रैशनल डिसीजन मेकिंग लवली आई लव दिस आंसर परफेक्ट दिस इज वेरी ट्रू आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस दैट फॉर द वेरी ट्रू वेरी ट्रू रैशनल डिसीजन मेकिंग सेकेंड क्वेश्चन डू वी टेक हेल्प वाइल मेकिंग डिसीजन क्या हम हेल्प लेते हैं येस और नो क्या हम डिसीजन लेने के टाइम मदद लेते हाँ या ना यस यस ओके समरी इज़ रिटर्न व्हाट इज़ राइट फॉर टुडे मे बी रॉन्ग फॉर लेटर फॉर एग्जांपल परचेज इन अ बिग कमर्शियल लैंड एंड फॉर द इंस्ट्रक्शन फॉर फाइव स्टार होटल मे बी राइट डिसीजन इन द पास्ट बट आफ्टर कोविड नाइनटीन गुड ओके थैंक यू प्रसाद जी फॉर शेयरिंग दैट एग्जाम्पल uh yes 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 lot of yeses uh do we do you take help in making decision yes we we take so good uh second question if we do take help second question comes how much do we really rely on the decision making help jo wo help hame mili hai hum us pe kitna rely kar how much do you rely how much do we really rely uh uh Twenty uh, percent, not at all. Okay, it depends on the person. So, just say, mil raha hai, acha. Uh, to senior experience, knowledge base, we test. Okay, depends upon who's giving it. Depends on the information. Depends upon the source. Okay, similar line of answers. Sometimes emotions take over. Hmm. Okay, ऐसा लगता है जैसे कभी-कभी कुछ decision हमारे गलत है और इमोशन की वजह से गलत हो जा रहे हैं पॉसिबल पॉसिबल गट फीलिंग ओके वी वी गेट गट फीलिंग हमें लगता है कि नहीं काश ऐसा करना चाहिए ओके ट्रू डिपेंड्स ऑन द क्वालिटी ऑफ हेल्प ओके बाय टेकिंग अ सेकंड ओपिनियन बेस्ड ऑन द प्रिडिक्टेड आउटकम हाउ मच वन कैन इन्फ्लुएंस ऑल्सो अफेक्ट ओके दैट्स वेरी ट्रू depending on the credibility and the rationality of the situation i like this answer uh, for the critical decision people take second opinion fair enough so how much we really, uh, really rely <laughs> after looking at the answers we really don't rely bharosa fir bhi nahi hai total depend karta hai kahan se aa raha hai matlab help kahan se aa rahi hai uske upar depend karta hai acha hmm ओके सेकंड उसके बाद का एक क्वेश्चन व्हाई डू वी टेक हेल्प फॉर मेकिंग डिसीजन ओके अगर हम रिलाई नहीं करते ओके okay, फिर भी हम ले रहे हैं देन व्हाई डू वी टेक व्हेन वी आर नॉट श्योर एंड लैक ऑफ सफिशिएंट एक्सपीरियंस ओके फेयर इनफ टू हैव इनपुट्स टू मेक श्योर वी डोंट मेक अ मिस्टेक ओके 
when we are not confident enough possible alternative options to get different perspective to take correct decision to get different perspectives good to get uh, get see how what new angle uh, we may not we may not have seen to reach our goal with another per perspective for statistical information mm, we can't find answer on google so we take this i think uh, knowledge gained from the person who know well so this is so irony you know look at the irony hum 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 decision lene ki jo help hai isliye lete hain kyunki shayad hum sure nahi hai hame hum hame khud pe bharosa nahi hai in short aur ab jab hum help le rahe hain hame us pe bhi bharosa nahi hai isn't it an irony <laughs> that's what i can understand from the reply uh, to get a different uh, pov so that uh, maybe to overcome outcomes which they have not okay to make an informed decision informed decision matlab apne aap ko inform karna chahte hain ki ha bhai theek hai chalo some information which might uh, get overlooked yeah. but this is an irony हमें खुद पर भी विश्वास नहीं है हमें लगता है कि शायद मैं गलत हूँ इसलिए मुझे किसी का एडवाइस लेनी चाहिए और जब हम एडवाइस लेते हैं तब हम हमें उस पर भी विश्वास नहीं है क्योंकि फिर हम डाउट करते हैं कि जो सोर्स मुझे दे रहा है एडवाइस क्या वो सही है या गलत है क्योंकि ऐसे आंसर आए थे इसलिए मैं बोलता हूँ आई एम नॉट सेंगे नॉट दिस इज इंटरेस्टिंग और राइट अब लास्ट इन इन दोनों के हिसाब से लास्ट सवाल एक आता है in this scenario whom do we consider as a right decision making help or a support to so, agar aap ye bolte hain ki bhai jahan se mujhe decision aa raha hai wo uh, source pe mujhe doubt hai to bhai sahi source kahan hai somebody is writing google my god <laughs> do you consider google as a right decision making help or a support okay well google is a company Uh, authority in subject experience someone's using logic experience person if it's proven to be accurate before okay matlab aap prior data ko dhyan denge isliye expert person uh, who are specialized in something okay uh to fir is hisab se main expert hua आपके हिसाब से और मैं आपको कुछ डिसीजन दे दू हाउ मच यू रिलाई यू स्टिल नॉट रिलाई हिस्टोरिकल एक्सपीरियंस ओके इज एक्चुअली अगेन अनदर बेंच मार्क देन द गट फीलिंग सो इफ देर हैज टू बी अ गट फीलिंग देन वी डोंट रियली नीड अ डिसीजन मेकिंग हेल्प हमें नहीं चाहिए इफ इट हेल्प इन अचीविंग ऑब्जेक्टिव एंड आर रिलायबल okay uh then based on the past history the person who provides a rational information okay based on the past history uh polling somebody is saying polling okay uh so they will ask multiple uh they want multiple inputs and then they will find out out of the multiple inputs which is correct past trends and like so basically historical uh, maximum answers what i see Uh, is leaning towards the past experience and historical data so if you got a good historical data and you've got a good data bank of that then probably partition making is good okay that's fair further now uh, we we've, we've understood a part of this is in okay as somebody is doing a long math thank you be many times uh, disbursement of a loan this is in maker Many times uh, go for a subject expert like product experts, industry experts, and finally sometimes all on the table uh, looks good, but ground reality has to be checked. Okay, fair enough. For example, now since we've understood decision as a as a uh, as an important term, uh, you know why do we take it? We've got a lot of uh, you know questions answered on that. and definitely we know what is a decision i don't need to explain that 
uh, now we need to understand the system okay because we're going to understand the decision support system to make you understand a support system first let us understand what is a system and then we will understand the whole term of decision support system okay so the system here has its own small little definition okay it's a group of interrelated components working together towards a common goal by accepting the input and producing the output in an organization transformation process so that's a formal small little definition of the system and in our scenario when decision making is happening then or we are talking about decision support system so all these interrelated components are working together for one goal is to give you a better decision okay uh all right so this is another diagrammatical representation uh, to understand a system uh, your definition feature thi usi ko yahan bataya gaya simple hai bahut hi simple hai ek system ka you know explanation that there is certain set of inputs and then there is certain set of outputs left to right aur in sab ke beech mein aata hai system transformation process internal conditions which relies on uh, two things certain external conditions and internal conditions aur un internal conditions ke andar kuch aa jate hain uh, system performance which again relies on profitability overall cost productivity quality risk services flexibility ye sari cheezon ke upar rely kiya jata hai i'm totally talking about an organization level i'm not uh, the definition of a system will be would be different biologically and would be different in any other field but we are speaking to an organization so the terms are being used that way to make you understand that further then what's dss okay understanding a decision support system now it is a computer program application that analyzes the business data and presents it so that users can make decisions so it's a piece of code which helps you analyze the data and give you a set of decisions which you can consider a decision support system is a computer based application that collects organize and analyze the business data to facilitate quality business decision making for the management operations and planning a well designed dss aids decision makers in compiling a variety of data from the many different sources and now there is no guarantee of the sources here okay different sources yes but i am not guaranteeing the sources now certain set of important considerations for dss uh, we need to understand now we we have learned that it is a it, it's a piece of code it's a software which is helping a uh, dss helps in decision making but does not necessarily give a decision itself what do you think about this it'll help you in decision making but it might not give you a decision itself aapko batayega help karega lekin decision nahi dega aapke who then who who will take the decision who do you think will take the decision if it will not take the decision then who will do that us user we jo uske us us system se guidance le raha hai insaan jo authority hai jo decision making authority hai wo lega decision ye to sirf authority ko aid karega decision making is a process of choosing amongst two or more alternative courses of action for the purpose of attaining one or more goals simple that's a nutshell explanation of a decision making process so you've got alternatives 
and two or more of course if there is only single alternative there is no decision making well of choice in it there is only vanilla ice cream at home right now. I'm, I'm gonna have that there is no choice but there's an option my refrigerator is full with uh, vanilla ice cream chocolate one and maybe strawberry so i have one option so then i need to uh you know uh need to make some decisions like which one to have somebody might say we'll have all three okay fair enough okay, somebody's writing radio largest oh okay i know why uh, okay let's understand a decision making process all right a decision is a choice from multiple alternatives are usually made with a fair degree of rationality somebody spoke about rationality a little a few minutes back and then i said yes that's something which we're going to uh, discuss ahead so i'm i'm sure people know what is rationality may i know from you all when they say fair degree of rationality maybe whatever comes to your mind depends upon certain sets of situations it's it's not idealistic it's more rational it depends upon a certain set of internal and external forces when you take your decision uh people are writing logic yes thinking process okay logical based on experience and gut well gut means stomach i don't know why <laughs> okay there, there, i have read an article a wonderful article uh, about gut feeling oh which is not irrational uh, that's a wonderful uh, answer i love this answer matlab super way viva mein jab main question puchta hu apne bachcho ko i remember वो कुछ ऐसा ही आंसर देते हैं ओके ओके व्हिच इज नॉट हाईली रिस्की एंड इंपल्सिव ओके फेयर इनफ नॉट हाईली रिस्की एंड इंपल्सिव देन अगेन इन दिस सिनेरियो यू नीड टू डिफाइन रिस्क यू नीड टू डिफाइन हाई रिस्क आपको डिफाइन करना पड़ेगा और फिर uh, आप उसमें उसके अंडरस्टैंडिंग भी चाहिए और राइट so uh, in short in nutshell uh, a decision making is a choice from multiple alternatives usually made with a fair degree of rationality uh, why am i talking all this reason is we need to understand the system the software which is there it it will also work accordingly usme bhi ye sari cheeze honi chahiye to hi to wo decision making mein help kar payega it should be rational kuch inputs ke basis pe hi to bata इनपुट्स ही नहीं है लॉजिक ही नहीं है तो सिस्टम कैसे बताएगा तो इट शुड बी रैशनल देन डिसीजन मेड बाय नॉलेज वर्कर्स इन पब्लिक एंड प्राइवेट प्राइवेट सेकंड सेंटेंस सो डिसीजन मेड बाय नॉलेज वर्कर्स इन पब्लिक एंड प्राइवेट सो इट कुड बी इन द प्रोसेस कुड बी पब्लिक प्रोसेस कुड बी प्राइवेट समटाइम्स इट्स ओपन समटाइम्स इट्स क्लोज third the decision making process is a part of broader subject usually referred to as problem solving so this process is for a very important factor that's problem solving the last one which refers to the process through which individuals try to bridge the gap between the current operating conditions of a system and supposedly better conditions to be achieved in future but that's that what we are working for future has to be better a logical flow of a problem solving now comes into the picture now since it is highlighted that the decision making process okay it's all about problem solving so how how it flows till the final decision is achieved at the end 
there are certain set of criteria it needs to pass. Uh, we, we can call them as filters. Uh, the set of alternatives which we have out of which we are making decisions. And these alternatives have a direct impact from the environment and the problem. So uh, in a real world environment, okay, so your, your entire system has to work with the real world environment. The impact has to come from there and the problem in that environment and the certain and then the certain set of alternatives i'll give you a pretty good enough example all right now uh, every company is trying to go online okay now this is why i'm saying because again i encountered this as one of my client problem everyone wants to take a cloud based solution for their companies because people want to work remotely from home okay now there are certain now here here comes the scenario now, there are tons of alternatives available to so name a few maybe microsoft teams uh, or google products like google g suite and uh, there's dropbox and there'll be there, there, there are certain people who are providing their own set of servers many options many alternatives are there but depending upon the environment and the problem you are facing you might really not need teams because you you can work with dropbox all you need to do is do a data share you don't need anything more okay possible or probably you might you might require something more only one small solution cannot work for you you want file sharing as well and editing as well okay so the alternative changes so depending on that and the set criteria you come to one decision making you're getting it so i hope this this tiny example can make you understand the logical flow of the problem solving what is the problem the problem is to find the best solution for your office which cloud solution you should be using i think this is currently uh, a bigger problem in major industry I feel that I know how far it is true. Okay. I hope this is clear. Shall we go further? Okay. So we'll go further. Okay. Understanding the rational approach in decision making. So as I said, uh, we're going to focus on the rational approach. Okay. Now we already know uh, the rational approach. So rational approach to decision making implies that the options fulfilling the best performance criteria is selected out of all the possible alternatives. So this is very important. So for the software and the system which you are creating, your system should have a rational approach you want your system to have but then there are certain factors which are influence influencing your rational choice okay i know that microsoft teams is good but it is expensive okay maybe not now okay i might not have to go for that economic problem first I, I understand that an XYZ cloud technology having it uh, at my own office is going to save a lot of money. That's beautiful. What if I can have a CPU with a dedicated IP in my office and create my own cloud in my office so that I can have a secured and a dedicated network for my office? Yes, lovely. But technical problems, high chances that somebody has to uh, you know, work on it. We all are chartered accountants. Our office is full of people who are non-technical in terms of uh, information technology. So probably that's, that's not the right choice. Okay, fair enough. Uh, third possibility, legal. Uh, okay. 
you are working in an environment wherein legally setting up that entire server is not possible gone down you can't do it but there could be certain ethical problems also uh, everything is correct but ethically we shouldn't be doing this why because maybe our company's motto is like that there there is a scenario where we cannot work ethically we, we cannot have the solution uh, because it's not ethically right simple example you are working for google and now looking for a solution from microsoft is it ethically right no google will say we have a solution why don't you use it but you say no microsoft teams is better i don't like google but ethically you cannot you're already a part of google you're working for google working google is paying you uh, and then you are saying them that okay uh, let's switch to microsoft they might not like it possibly and there could be procedural certain set of procedures that influence okay this process or this procedure is not right or this procedure is right so these are certain factors which will influence our rational choice possibly am i correct any questions so far or any inputs so far from your end i hope uh, the example is fair enough to make you connect okay thank you example is rational okay <laughs> good good one good one so so okay uh so evolution of dss uh how how it came into the picture okay so there is a little history connected to everything so we'll be going through that in 1970s they began to arise within enterprise increasingly complex need to devise a software application and uh, which was called as a management information system in order to ease the access uh you know they, they wanted an entire management information system and then they need to ease their entire match mis i'm sure uh, there, there would be people who uh who were there during 1970s so probably they might have uh, understood they might have seen this uh requirement i know if we have uh, students uh, or the participants uh, uh, from that age group then came the mainframe computers for those days uh, which lacked graphical visualization capabilities and uh, they were they were not as uh, advanced as the machinery which we have right now okay of course that's fine uh, communicated with the users through the character based computer terminal and the dot uh, dot printers like those dot matrix printers that's how things used to be so further difficulty uh, lay organization structure companies based on the highly centralized information system department usually resulting in very long and frustrating time delays in implementing changes or extensions available for the application so that's that used to happen then what happened then in 1980s introduction of personal computers came into the picture with an operating system featuring the graphic interface and a pointing device which is mouse you know who uh, who created that that pointing device anyone knows jo mouse ka cursor cursor hai kisne banaya tha kya hum jante hain uski wajah se aap wo beautiful mouse cursor use kar pa rahe hain ek kiki wo kisne banaya uh, jobs no mm -hmm. any more answers mouse cursor kisne banaya tha no matlab market kis janti hai ke is bande ki wajah se ye cheez aayi hai by apple doctors 
Okay. IBM. Okay. Xerox. My God, so Xerox bar. Okay. Mm -hmm. Douglas. It's a Google answer. <laughs> okay. Fair enough. So many answers, but then you've Googled it. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So again, so these things came into the picture in 1980s. Okay, uh, thanks to Mr. Bill Gates, uh, he got Windows operating system. Okay, हमारे कैसे लाए क्या लाए तो भगवान ही जानते हैं. बहुत सारी movies बनी हैं उसके ऊपर डॉक्यूमेंट्रीज बनी है कितनी हद तक क्या सही है किसी को नहीं पता सर डिफिकल्ट टू इवन से बढ़िया बिल गेट्स इज वन पर्सन हु गेव अ ब्यूटीफुल ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम टू पीपल ओके उन्होंने सम हाउ बिल गेट्स स्टार्टेड विद विंडोज दैट्स द नेम व्हिच इज देयर हिस्ट्री आई नो क्या सही है क्या गलत है नॉट टू कमेंट ऑन दैट this led to the most proactive knowledge workers to create local database and develop simulation models so then it came ki ha ab graphic hai mouse uh, cursor hai uh, somebody is having pirates of silicon valley okay yes 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 uh, so you can you can watch that so uh, in short in a natural proactive approach came in uh, local database banne shuru ho gaye सिमुलेशन वॉडल्स की तैयारी होगी कि हाँ ग्राफिकल आउटपुट आ रहा है तो चलो कुछ बनाया जाता है ओके okay. uh, जैसे कि एग्जांपल में बताया गया है कि स्प्रेडशीट्स ओके ओके फॉर एग्जाम इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम एंड प्लान इंफॉर्मेशन सिस्टम वर द फर्स्ट इंट्रोड्यूस टूवर्ड्स द लेट नाइनटीन एटीज टू सपोर्ट एग्जीक्यूटिव इन डिसीजन मेकिंग प्रोसेस ओके सो Information system and plan information system. This was introduced in 19. This term was used in 1980s. Okay, and if you remember, I've spoken on the information system during my first primary lecture. Okay, so um, that's how the decision making process started. 1980s, people started taking help of a machine for decision making. They understood that how our data can be visualized, can be understood. So visualization was very important. Okay. Finally, towards the end of 1990s, the term business intelligence was coined and began to be used to generally address the architecture containing DSS, analytical methodologies, and models used to transform data into useful information and knowledge for decision makers. So, 1990s ke baad, okay, uh, ye gadi start ho gayi. Business intelligence ka naam coined ho gaya, uh, DSS. Uh, came into the picture. Decision making came into the picture. Analytical methods came into the picture. All right. So now DSS, it's it consists of the three elements: a, a database; b, a repository; c, mathematical models. So database is a part and a process where ETL happens. Repositories. wherein from the database the information mining is happening and for the decision making a certain set of information is stored and the mathematical model is working on them so the entire structure is there in front of you it consists of the data the models the graphical interface and which gives us a decision making part and there is a decision maker who using that graphical interface working with data and the models is giving us an output so dss is overall a system not a one shot software koi ek one shot chhota sa software nahi hai ke hey jadugar batao hum kya ye decision leke nahi aisa nahi it's a system jisko dekh ke samajh ke aapko apne hisab se output lene hai aapko data de diya jayega data ko visualize karne ke methods bata diye jayenge विजुअलाइजेशन uh, को ग्राफिकली रिप्रेजेंट किया जाए और उसको समझ के परख के और फिर आपको अपना सही डिसीजन देना है 
the objectives of the entire DSS are being given here is to save the time and efforts in decision making process to help in processing the collected data and in producing a suggested solution to a problem to provide a sophisticated and fast analysis of vast amount of data and information to provide support for decision makers at all the management levels mainly in semi-structured or unstructured situation but this is very important by bringing together human judgment and can be tries information so the system hai wo shayad uh, semi structured hoga ya unstructured ho sakta hai situations can be unstructured or semi structured the data can be in a similar way and combining the computerized information and the human judgment which is very important you know this works the objective of the dss is done then the another objective is to promote learning which leads to the new demands and refinement of applications so another good objective of a dss is learning it gives you an understanding and gives you it opens the avenues of learning you learn more you understand more okay that i have learned today that out of the a million records of uh, data i have i have learned that they are between 18 to 22 years of age good that's a learning or from the entire record system uh, of a million records you've got you've learned that the interest of these people is more in sports the data is of those people who are interested in more in sports good that's a learning how did that learning came in because you saw that the records which are there okay the history of uh, they were searching for uh, over the browser shows that the interest is more towards sport okay fair enough that's a learning it could be in percentage it could be like 90% okay fine good 10% is something else so i can i can have a judgment that the high chances are in sports and in, not in something else to provide an efficient and effective solution of every complex problem that is a main object giving an effective and efficient solution so aapka kaam bhi hona chahiye effective hona chahiye aur efficient bhi hona chahiye kyunki aapki jo solution hai uske liye to check the impact of the changes on the proposed solution with help of what if analysis what if most important what if analysis this is in making mein uh, hame sabse badi problem ye hoti hai ke agar aisa kiya to kya what if i choose this what if i choose that what if i choose that so here the important part is to understand that what if what happens if you choose a particular domain and then you go on that that's an option all right something is coming up uh, doing excel analysis is dss or there is some other software also of dss if yes you can give example other than excel definitely in excel when you are doing analysis for decision making yes it is a wonderful uh, software which can help you in decision making okay and there will be several other tools see as i said dss koi ek single tool nahi hai it's a conglomeration a combination of several tools and techniques so aap ek single tool ke upar le kya ye to bahut sare tools hai jo aapko decision making mein help karenge to ye pura system hai it's a purely an entire system ha possible hai ki ye system aapko koi ek company ya ek service provider de uh, can you please elaborate how excel acts as an dss book okay, i'll i'll elaborate for example uh, in excel you have a record of all your uh, uh, employees so you got an employee data and you got like uh, 250 employees in the company and in excel you are maintaining a record of your employees 
uh, let's say you're, you're maintaining a record of an employees uh, about their location from where they travel so with that you want to shift to another good office so now to understand where you need to shift you can you can work around with the location data to understand a maximum amount of public where do they stay so what we'll do is uh, we'll divide uh, the data in a way in like three segments like i can say south bombay uh, i can say uh, uh, the central suburbs and then the western suburbs so my people come from these three areas so depending upon the locality they have mentioned their addresses now that i know that out of 250 uh, these many people they come from the south bombay these many people they come from the uh, central suburbs and these many people come from the western suburbs now i need to shift my office to a location which is convenient to all and i see there are 200 employees which are coming from the western suburbs and there are like a few which are coming from the south bombay there are very few coming from the central okay high chances that i might move my office in that area a very simple decision making very smallest example and maybe my excel can give that and there could be variety of such examples coming by analyzing the data okay you can use those charts in excel okay comparison charts you, you can have certain pie charts or you can have some graphs to understand your excel gives you a lot of graphical data and create a two-dimensional graph having two different columns compared and understand further so here somebody is writing five words and sorting yeah definitely you can use five word charts okay so it's a graphical representation of an excel which gives you an idea i hope uh, the example is fair mr bhavish any further question from anyone else all right welcome any further questions all right understanding the limitations of dss humne ye to dekh liya dss jadugar hai lekin kahin kahin mera dss nahi bhi chalega ye bhi to dekhe sabse important what dss can't uh first Oh, oh, just a moment there is a question oh, when you say several tools means what kinds of different tools all those tools which are helping you to analyze your data such as the spreadsheet your excel uh, the business intelligence tools like microsoft power bi um, the a, any data analytical tools maybe a query processor so you can use any such tool which is working on the data okay All right. Uh, the limitations first. DSS can't replace human decision-making talent such as creativity, imagination, or intuition. Do you agree? First thing, it cannot replace the cognitive intelligence. If you remember, we've spoken on the cognitive intelligence, the gut feeling, what you say. It cannot replace. I know that according to the uh, five word charts data what i see that i should be shifting to western suburbs uh, because everyone stays there but my gut feeling says if i take a wonderful office which is sea facing at marine lines people will enjoy that more okay possible what do you think so there are high chances that people uh, might not mind to travel all the way to a wonderful office at marine lines which is sea facing uh, apartment wow people wouldn't mind that Chalega. and you give you tell that you can come at 12 o'clock it's okay doesn't matter how about that so maybe uh, that creativity the imagination the intuition part works well uh, dss does not have eyes to see reality okay uh i would say i wouldn't say it doesn't have eyes to see reality uh, reality is all about set of inputs 
अगर आप वो सारे सेट ऑफ इनपुट्स अपने उस सिस्टम को दे देते हैं तो शायद वो इनपुट्स उसकी आंखें बन जाएगा सेकेंड पॉइंट डी एस एस आर जनरली डिजाइन टू बी नैरो इन स्कोप ऑफ एप्लीकेशन दिस प्रिवेंट्स देयर जनरलाइज यूज टू मल्टीपल डिसीजन मेकिंग कॉन्टेक्स वेरी वेरी ट्रू डी एस एस सिस्टम्स जो भी है वो एक पर्टिकुलर डिसीजन मेकिंग के लिए नैरो डाउन करके रखे हैं ओके इट इज इट इज जस्ट नैरो डाउन मतलब लिमिटेशन लगा दी गई है इतना ही तुझे आउटपुट देना है बिकॉज इट्स अ पीस ऑफ कोड ओके उसका स्कोप उसकी uh, उसका वर्किंग इज नैरो डाउन टू वन थिंग यू हैव टू फाइंड द कन्वीनियंट शॉर्टेस्ट पाथ फॉर एग्जाम्पल अ बेस्ट डिसीजन मेकिंग एग्जाम्पल आई वुड से गूगल मैप्स गूगल मैप विल शो यू अ शॉर्टेस्ट अवेलेबल पाथ ओके गुड it will show you a shortest available path and you will work on that path because wo aapko traffic se sab kuch calculate karke batayega yes or no google map we all have used so it shows us a shortest available path kya hum is cheez pe uh, agree karte hain all right uh, there there are no answers i don't know people whether they agree or not uh huh okay it shows us so isn't that a dss isn't that a dss kyunki wo bhi kisi data ko analyze kar raha hai so isn't that a dss it is a dss it is helping us show a shortest path it is a tool which is helping me understand the traffic is there at this location more and this location less so this is the shortest path okay it means a time that one objective is solved yeah definitely so but the point is that is the shortest path but i might not want to take that shortest path because i have uh, or rather i want to travel more i want to enjoy the ride i might want to take the longest path मुझे घूम के जाने में ज्यादा इंटरेस्ट है मैं छोटा रास्ता नहीं जाना क्यों क्योंकि मुझे मुझे गाड़ी चलानी है मुझे एंजॉय करना है रिमज किया मेरा कोई काम है तो शायद वो दूसरे रास्ते से जाके ठीक फुलफिल हो तो शॉर्टेस्ट पाथ आई कैन नॉट टेक इट वुड बी सेवरल रीजन सो बट देन अगेन गूगल मैप्स इज नॉट गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट राइट उसको नहीं पता कि आपका मूड नहीं है शॉर्टेस्ट पाथ पे जाने का या आपकी जरूरत नहीं है शॉर्टेस्ट पाथ पे जाने की इट इज गोइंग टू फनल दैट स्मॉल स्कोप व्हिच इज बीन मेंशन समबडी इज हाउ गूगल रेकग्नाइजेस ट्रैफिक इन कंजेशन सिंपल फॉर नाउ द गूगल मैप्स व्हाट यू यूज ओपन सोर्स इट इज फॉर द पीपल बाय द पीपल डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द पीपल हु आर ऑलरेडी ट्रेवलिंग ऑन द पर्टिकुलर रोड मैप it totally works on that okay so i remember teaching my students uh something i i'll come to that i'll come to that there is no machine learning here huh? no machine learning here i'll come to this give me a moment so don't guess anything wrong i have answer for it let me finish third point and i'll answer that uh third is languages and the command interface are not sophisticated so that is again another limitation of dss when the inputs itself which are not sophisticated okay sahi input nahi mil pata bahut sare karan hai so then again that is again it needs a right input okay so uh let me see okay a lot of people have written data congestion at particular area maybe use uh no 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 don't 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 conclude don't conclude it's a beautiful subject a geographic information system okay uh, so now there was an experiment conducted and this is a, a real experiment conducted i can also uh, share the news link somebody has done this a small little experiment by collecting hundreds of cell phones keeping them 
keeping their GPS alive, okay, and uh, keeping those hundreds of cell phones in one rack and slowly moving those cell phones on a road to create a fake traffic on an empty road, it it works well, okay. Uh, okay, and this news is so true because Google works on the maximum possibility of people aap travel karte aap hi ke data se understand karte aap hi ko output diya jata hai okay so uh, on google map you can create a fake traffic this is very much true this is this is not this was not the fake uh, idea as a possible hai okay because google map is an open source platform which works for the people by the people understand that but then there is another solution, a paid solution of Google Earth, which is used by military, which is used by government, and uh, you know, which is used by companies for that matter, which does not work on this principle. Okay, so they do have another solution, a paid solution of Google Earth, where they give you APIs for a correct, absolute correct traffic mapping. Okay. And it works with a lot of uh, uh, satellite imagery data. So it doesn't go with for the people and by the people. Uh... <laughs> okay, right, there's a nice uh, comedy example shared. When there was a, a heavy rain in Mumbai, uh, that time Google Maps showed that you can reach fast because you did not consider water logging. Uh, there is a difference in accuracy too. Is this a question for Google Earth? Yes. The paid one? Yes. Yes. All right. Uh, moving further ahead, I, I hope uh, I'm not boring people. I hope you're not getting bored because there is a lot of theory to understand DSS. There is a lot of depth to understand DSS. This is more like uh, uh, we can say your management thing. We, we never study management, especially being science students. So we we work more on the numbers. Okay. So, but this is something like that. I don't know. Uh, does it work in remote village location? What works? Google Maps, open source, or the paid solutions of Google? Both work actually, practically. It works on remote village. Google Earth, yeah, yeah, definitely it works. Definitely it works. Uh, not the Google Earth which you see on the Play Store available for free. I'm not talking about that. They have a separate paid solution. Okay, so. And even that uh, free solution works. All right. I've tried and tested at the remotest location possible. I love to travel and I've traveled across entire country. You name the state and I've been there. It's like that. So, and I've tried Google Earth uh, and I've tried uh, Google Maps as well. It works, uh, but some uh, sometimes it gives you errors also. That's, that's another catch. Uh, okay, types of DSS understanding. Uh, there are certain types of uh, decision support systems uh, which are being uh, fairly categorized. Okay, and we'll be, we'll be learning uh, them. First could be uh, a status inquiry system. Okay, so it helps in taking operational management level or a middle level management decisions. So we can call it as a status inquiry system. For example, daily schedules of jobs to machines or machine to operators. So it uh, a system that tells us that today's attendance is how many people have come, how many people have not Kitty machines shallow, kitty machines nahi shallow. Simple, very simple. Status inquiry system. Okay, that is also a type of DSS, which helps you taking a decision. Ki, okay, aaj ki tarik mein itni machines shallow thi, or itni nahi shallow. Whatever. A uh, data analysis system. It needs comparative analysis and makes use of formula or an algorithm. For example, cash flow analysis, inventory analysis. For example, uh, there is an inventory of uh, medicines and a certain set of medicines are running out of stock so your system will give you a pop-up saying that uh, this medicine is running out of stock and the sale is too high you need to now stock it up 
possible, a data analysis system, which will tell you that. Okay, third example, information analysis system. Now this system, uh, in this uh, system data is analyzed and information report is generated. Uh, for example, the sales analysis, accounts receivable systems. Okay, so possible, I, I'm sure uh, uh, if you're using Zoho, I don't know how many of you are using it, uh, but you know Zoho, uh, Zoho is an information analysis system. It gives you all that. And then sales IQ is one of the product which gives you that uh, data. Uh, Salesforce is another big uh, conglomerate company which does that. But Zoho is a very locally easily available solution for information analysis. If you are looking for, so it gives you the sales report, it gives you the accounts receivable, market analysis. It's very Jesus Zoho can then build those up. What beautiful. Uh, what's the difference between data versus information? Okay, that was my first explanation when I started my first lecture in AI. Uh, I'll I'll tell you I'll tell you. Simple data is a collection of raw facts and figures. Information is a processed form of data. In a nutshell, so data raw facts and figures hai, aur usko jab process kiya jata hai, aur usme se nikala jata hai, that is information. Uh, zero is not much used in India. Zero, oh, you mean to say Zoho? Uh, no, Zoho is used in India. What log use that? Um, I see a lot of people like in my vicinity, like whom I know, people are using Zoho. A lot of people are happily using Zoho. I don't know, uh, it could be your analysis. Okay, uh, but then it's a good system, it's a fairly good system. Uh, you can you can try it. Uh, they, they give you some free trial also for 15 or 30 days, something like that. So, uh, Zoho is used in US, Tally is usually used in India. Uh, okay, I know Tally is used, but Tally is one of the uh, product which even Zoho has, but Zoho has another products which are not in Tally, they are used. Like billing system, Zoho ka, uh, Zoho ka sales analysis system, sales IQ, just ka naam hai. Uh, Zoho ka social, bohat zada use hota because I have used it for one of my client I know. Okay, CRM, yes, uska customer relationship management tool that is used. People use Zoho CRM a lot. Mm, so is a homegrown product. Yeah, it is a homegrown product. So, good. so uh, you can use it. You can try it. Uh, since you are asking about uh, uh, good DSS software, uh, Sales IQ is one of the inbuilt analysis of. I'm not doing any branding of Zoho. I would love cash, which is Zoho for the passive data system. But I'm not doing branding. But yeah, uh, I try to avoid names. But you can use. It's just an example. Okay. Uh, then another type of CSS. Let's understand accounting system. Accounting system. So, shayad, aap mujhe batayenge. Main kya aapko batao? It keeps the track of accounting and finance related to information. And for example, final account, account receivable, account payable. Merely uh, is some Hebrew and Jew and German. Hai. So it makes a lot of sense. Uh, final account, accounts receivable, accounts payable, and all that. These these terms. But yeah, accounting system. And I'm sure all the CAs are very well versed with that. I don't need to even explain. Uh, then comes the uh, model based systems. Uh, simulation models or optimization models used for decision making, uh, you know, which are used infrequently uh, and creates general guidelines for operation or management. So, it could be model based system, for example, uh, a weather forecast model or uh, AQI index model or maybe the, the population mapping model. Could be many such models, such systems. Uh, okay. Uh, now, moving further, that these are the types to make you understand air quality index AQI means. Uh, okay, but I think it's a general term. Love so. <laughs> uh, AQI. Okay, uh, developing your own DSS very important. 
सो मैंने इतना तो बोल दिया कि डी एस है सिस्टम है ये कोई एक सिंगल सॉफ्टवेयर नहीं है सो वेन यू आर डेवलपिंग योर ओन डी एस अ स्मॉल लिटल रन थ्रू विच यू ऑल कैन डू इट वेन यू वॉन्ट टू इम्प्लीमेंट डी एस एस एट योर प्लेस अंडरस्टैंड योर रिक्वायरमेंट सिंपल है बहुत एक रुपये का रॉकेट साइंस नहीं है इसमें सिंपल अंडरस्टैंड योर रिक्वायरमेंट आपकी जरूरत समझो प्लान on what you really require what you really don't require uh how you are going to meet the requirements and many more things maybe brainstorming sessions uh, analysis on your uh, on that and then designing a system like uh, i i i've got a certain set of requirements and i am now planning and designing it implementing it and the delivery means either it could be a delivery or it could be to your own so it's fairly simple that when we have to implement our own dss for example uh, you want to implement uh, you have a company which is of 1000 employees and you want to implement uh, a decision support system to understand uh, how many employees you should retain and how many employees uh, you should let go and how many employees you should hire so aapko apna hiring ko understand karna hai ki kaise kiya jaye so your a beautiful dss system can be developed in an entire environment jo aapko ye bataye ke it will collect uh, information about a lot of things okay so uh, requirement bahut clear hai ke to understand the hiring process of a company a company uh, which is having uh, roughly 1000 employees so now looking at the requirement of the work you will understand ke kitna kaam hai company mein और क्या उसके सामने एम्प्लॉज उतने हैं काम करने के लिए इक्वेलेंट यस और नो इफ नो देन द हायरिंग प्रोसेस स्टार्ट सो हाउ यू विल हायर मे बी यू हायर मोर पीपल और देर इज अ पॉसिबिलिटी कि काम के सामने लो की जगह पे ऐसा भी है कि आउट ऑफ वन थाउजेंड पीपल देर आर टू हंड्रेड पीपल वो नॉन नॉट नॉट परफॉर्मिंग तो शायद से सी uh, वाली लैंग्वेज में या कॉमर्स वाली लैंग्वेज में उसको non performing assets bhi bola jata hai okay i know how far it's true i'm just making up making it up so these are those non performing assets where we uh, you need to fire them off so because of them uh, agar aap wo fulfill kar lo to shayad you will be able to meet okay so your dss will give you an idea whether you will really have to hire 200 more people or you need to chuck off 200 and get more new uh, good working 200 one This is going to make huge difference. आपके 200 लोग की जो salary waste हो रही है या शायद आप और ज़्यादा waste करने वाले थे कहीं तो आप समझ जाओ अटक जाओ So you will understand how many people are how will you understand जो लोग आ रहे हैं उनके attendance देखी जाएगी okay how much they are working okay उनका uh, उनके P, uh, KPIs देखे जाएंगे okay उनकी productivity देखी जाएगी how much productive they are तो so, KPIs के through ये देखा जाता है okay uh, so Uh, with, with all these you will come to a calling solution that yeah whether you need to hire or not so you need to make a system for that which is going to help you in taking decisions and this system will derive uh, information from the attendance from the productivity uh, from the managers or senior manager reports or and from the requirement analysis of the work and the many more and with these understanding you will come down to one conclusion whether you should be hiring or not or whether you should be firing actually instead of hiring okay so uh, all that all that works uh, that that's understanding and developing your own dss now finally uh, try to understand uh, another part a mathematical model now i have left it somewhere a little bit and i'll i'll go back to the same one just a minute a- any questions so far any questions so far so we've spoken on the mathematical model so i have left this slide uh, on purpose
advantages of these mathematical models. Okay, so what are these models and what are their advantages? First thing, uh, we, we've learned about these models a little bit. Uh, they represent the real, pro, uh, real world problem, the situation which is there. Okay, because DSS works on these mathematical models. Now, as I gave you an example of a hiring system, so we need to create a mathematical model for that, which will give me certain set of information from all the uh, different places. And these mathematical models are going to analyze and give us some conclusion or some output. So these models help managers to take decisions faster and more accurately, of course. So DSS is going to work on that. Uh, typically offer a convenient and the cost advantage over the means of obtaining the required information on reality. Now, when I say cost advantage is cost does not signify money. When when we talk uh, in our science, uh, maybe or in mathematics rather, uh, cost does not mean only money. Yeah, we, we try to understand that uh, cost advantage is here. Could be the time, or could be the resource, could be energy, could be anything. Any, any, any that part of uh, asset which is getting saved is my cost. Okay. The fourth one, large and complex problems that can be solved with ease, of course. So this is another biggest advantage of having a mathematical model. So, uh, and we, we've seen a couple of models yesterday. Okay. And there are many more. Uh, the models act as uh, communicators uh, to other by providing information and impact in changing conditions. Yes, it does. Okay, it will help you with, uh, uh, to understand and to change into the environment. Uh, another advantage, uh, which can be appreciated particularly in the long term. Yes, connecting to the same. In long term, things can be beneficial. So the mathematical models can help you predict and understand the future so that you can have a long term betterment a deeper understanding of a phenomena of under investigation that a mathematical model can do it can give you a deeper understanding and transfer uh, in the long run to other individuals within the same organization thus allowing a sharper preservation of knowledge in comparison to the empirical decision making process that's that's uh, that's all about the mathematical models. Uh, let me. Uh, are you interested in understanding more about the mathematical models? Uh, that I have a lot more on that. I hope this is uh, understood. Okay, great. People want to know more. That's good. I'm unhappy. Happy to know. Uh, okay. I'm sharing. I'm just opening my book. Okay. Uh, uh, this is the book uh, of business intelligence, which I have written uh, like two years back. Uh, somebody is asking, do we have to study advanced mathematics for it? No, you don't have to. Don't worry. I'm, I'm not going to show you uh, the uh, A, B, C, D, uh, or maybe uh, formulas. Just see how much I'm not like that. All right. So uh, types of mathematical models we can use uh, uh, these to understand. And uh, uh, can you see the screen? Like, can you see the screen? Uh, this is just my book so I'm open. Okay. I, I hope my screen is visible. I'll just shift it. Thank you. Uh, let's do it. Okay, so I said oops, sorry. The instrument used to represent the real world manner is called the mathematical model, and a model is a selective abstraction of a real system. So 
you can define your own uh, 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 abstraction uh, of an entire real system and this this abstraction is shown uh, okay as there are certain types uh, which are mentioned could be iconic analogical uh, could be deterministic symbolic stochastic static or dynamic so based on the characteristics the models are being uh, classified or the types are been given so how the mathematical models are i've already said that they work on the real world situation so it could be an iconic model uh, an iconic model is a material representation of a real system whose behavior is follows for the purpose of analysis so example uh, a miniaturized model of a new city iconic model okay uh, i'll come to i'll come to each and every what is stochastic i'll, I'll come to that uh, so we we'll, we're going first iconic uh, a three multidimensional model as an airplane car or building. so these are iconic models okay uh, photographs uh, two dimensional photographs so these are iconic models city ka just a model dekh lo miniature uh, city ka ya kisi building ka architecture dekh lo uh, inko iconic model bola jata hai okay so even these are the models which gives you a decision making matlab aapko ghar kharidna hai aur aap wo building ka ठीक है, so that we call these as iconic models. उसके बाद में होते हैं analogical models. Uh, okay, uh, analogical models में uh, uh, these are closely associated with iconic models. However, they are not replicas of the problem situation. Rather, they are small physical system that have similar characteristics and work like an original object or system. Example, बताता हूँ. ये जो दिख रहा है, ये analogical model है. ये uh, real world system और model ऐसे. डब्बे बना देना. छोटे छोटे डब्बे बना के हम जो करते हैं ना वैसा सो उसको बोलना चाहता है ऑर्गेनाइजेशन चार्ट्स शोइंग द स्ट्रक्चर अथॉरिटी रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी और रिलेशनशिप जो हमारे ईआर डायग्राम्स होते हैं एंटिटी रिलेशनशिप डायग्राम्स बिल्डिंग एग्जाम्पल सॉरी आई एम सॉरी इज इट क्लियर नाउ इज माई वॉइस ऑडिबल ओके सॉरी मे बी सम नेटवर्क एर हैपन्स टेक्नोलॉजी कभी कभी कुछ हो जाता है ओके सो देन देर आर एनोलॉजिकल मॉडल्स एज आई सेट दीज आर दिस फ्लो चार्ट एंटिटी रिलेशनशिप डायग्राम्स ई आर डायग्राम्स ओके आप कभी कभी आप कुछ ऐसे ही ड्रॉ करके बना देते हो या चिल्ड्रंस टॉय मॉडल ऑफ ट्रेल्स एंड बड़ा 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 ओके वन आफ्टर दैट देर आर डिटर्मिस्टिक मॉडल्स मॉडल्स which you can determine based on the hypothesis based on certain set of previous records you can determine something and deterministic model all the data input are supposed to be known prior so they are on the uh, prior probability uh, of the scenario and could also be over the posterior probability of the scenario okay so in these models everything is predefined and the results are uncertain uh beneficial for variety of management problems uh example deterministic model uh model hypothesis of knowing the data with cert uh, certainly may be relaxed uh calculation to determine a return of five year investment with an annual uh, interest rate of 7% so this is a purely uh, statement which will relate uh, to accountancy okay uh, uh going further uh so these are the de deterministic models which rely on a prior set of data uh, you can determine you can determine the annual returns you can determine the maybe the interest which is uh, on which uh, your money is kept and you'll you'll be receiving some amount of interest on that you can determine all that so these are those deterministic models and then comes the symbolic models okay uh, they are on symbols like the graphs the charts okay the symbolic model is an abstract representation of a real system um somebody is writing more related to formulae and theories uh, yes uh the comes stochastic okay the question which was been asked earlier a uh, stochastic means probabilistic models uh based on their probabilities these are the predictive models okay in stochastic model some input information represents random events 
and therefore characterized by the probability of the solution uh, whether my uh, stock which i have purchased will inflate or uh, will go down so that's a, that could be a stochastic model maybe a, a model which is used to predict the price of the stock a model which is used to predict the price of a, uh, of a metal okay like gold so these are the stochastic models okay so these are more probabilistic ones uh, and they are they are definitely very uncertain okay because the inputs are uncertain that way so i hope the stochastic question which was been asked has been answered so these models uh, got some inputs and they, they they work on the uncertainty okay and they are often used for strategic decision making involving an organization's relationship to its environment okay uh, then there are static models a so static model considered uh, uh, a given system and uh, related decision making process within uh, one single temporal stage or over a period of equal duration so uh, these are linear uh, models i would say or uh, a very static model it's very simply said that uh, uh, for example the house rent will increment by 10% every year it is a static model every year you will have uh, a 10 person increment in your house rent or another static model there uh, for a tenure of five years your salary will increase 15 percent annually so for the tenure of five years it's going to increase only 15 percent that's very static okay these are very static models it's just designed uh, it just works that way okay uh to understand stochastic model I, I gave you the example uh i gave you an example of stock market the stochastic model uh, you can't really determine uh it's not deterministic it can inflate the stock price can go up it can go down so that is that is on a very real world situation okay uh then comes uh, dynamic models considering a given system now dynamic models are uh, uh, you can say hybrid version of all the models. The inputs are dynamic and the outputs are dynamic as well. Consider a given system through a several temporal stages corresponding the sequence of decision. Temporal stages means stages with the uh, help of time. Those are the temporal stages. With the time, things change. For example, if I say uh, the water level in a particular lake will decrease or increase with time okay uh, i would say the data of the population okay with the time it will increase or decrease the the rate of deforestation will decide uh, the the forest whether it will bloom or it will go away so that is a dynamic model where with the temporal with the time temporal means with the time things will change so in many instances the temporal dimension is subdivided into the discrete intervals of time okay which could be like the minutes the hours the days the weeks so it could be a discrete interval of time for example i say every minute things are changing uh, every hour things are changing uh, or or years by year okay uh, discrete time uh, time dynamic models largely overcome in business intelligence applications that that's are in use so modeling real world decisions we apply model technique for four stages in the real world decision. Uh, so while while we're creating that uh, somebody's writing the rain or temperature forecast uh, these are stochastic rain or temperature forecast very much stochastic you don't know what will happen so uh, not always relies on time like we necessarily make it they are temporal models but they are uh, so we call them as stochastic ones okay uh, modeling the real world decision we apply modeling technique in four stages to a real world decision making first study the environment formulate the model and construct it analyze the model to determine the results third interpret and validate the model results fourth implement the validating knowledge so this is a small little explanation for how the models are being made then there are structures uh I, i've already said you the advantages and disadvantages okay so i'll i'll probably uh, 
stop sharing the screen. Uh, so any questions so far? I hope uh, I gave you a little example of these, these models. I didn't go to mathematics at all. I'm just trying to give you a little example of mathematical models, terms of type growth. Hope uh, that is clear, all the different types of mathematical models and where they are impacting. Yes, no. Okay, yes. All right. Mm. Any questions so far? A board of theory, uh, so am I. Uh, would we learn how the DSS is built or developed? Uh, DSS is, the question is same, built or developed. So DS, DSS is established in the system. As I said, it is not a single software. It's an environment. So it needs to be implemented. Is expert system different from DSS? Expert systems have a decision support inbuilt to them. It's one of the feature. Uh, I have not attended earlier to sections uh, any way out. Uh, I don't know what to say here. Uh, there's no way out. But I, I won't be able to repeat somewhere. Uh, maybe there are recorded sessions, so you can always ask for. Uh, election prediction. Uh, what do you think? Stochastic or deterministic? I don't know. You can't determine. Stochastic, okay, yes, I believe stochastic. It's very difficult. It could be deterministic if you know that uh, the situation is under your control, being a little more uh, fishy. Uh, Cambridge Analytica, <laughs> uh, they give you elections uh, outcome. Uh, so in experts, uh, we need not to create a DSS because it's inbuilt, right? Uh, if it is an expert system, uh, yes, DSS is inbuilt, but not necessary. Whether the DSS will uh, meet all the requirements we're looking for. Please send the recording for AI. Uh, that's not what I can do. I think it's in control of ICAI. I'm just a speaker here. So I'm sorry, you can ma'am please contact the authorities so webinars are not recorded even i don't know that uh, they actually constructed environment to lead and create the desired election result yeah so they have their own set of required uh, how what they have done nobody knows uh, they would be knowing cambridge analytica they give you the outcome so on basis of lot many inputs and systems Okay, I hope I'm able to draw a, you know, a line on the DSS. Okay, so um, maybe that's it for today. We can conclude. Can you share the PPT for yesterday? Uh, yes, uh, we'll, we'll share in a while, maybe. As I already said, uh, it's a little difficult for me, but I'll definitely share something. Don't worry. Uh, Saurabh, can you hear me? Yes, yes, ma'am. I can. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, can we do one thing? Uh, we can uh, compile all the PPTs in a one PPT, and we can send it to all the participants at the end of the workshop or something kind of. Possible. I, I uh, that that's exactly I wanted to do, but uh, people are asking. So, uh, I wanted to compile all in one document, as I said during my first lecture. I love to do that. I'll compile one okay. document and. Yeah. Okay. In the meanwhile, you can share your today's PPT also in the group. I have no problem. Mm, okay, not an issue. Uh, today's uh, I need to work out because it's there's a lot of data which I've used from my own book, so I need to uh, check with my publishing rights whether I can share that or not. But okay, definitely, you know, I'll, I'll compile something. I I'll compile a beautiful uh, bundle and give it to people. Okay, no issues. As for your comfort, no problem. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Okay, we can close it for today, right? Uh, yes, we can. We can. We can. Thank you, everyone.
Good night. Yeah. Thank you.